Well, I, mean, I, I think that was the problem with the cat interview was that knowing what I know, being in the industry, knowing the majority of the people that he's talked about personally that I've had on my show, watching, I'm like, okay, this is not real. This is not real. This is clearly a total exaggeration. <laughs> okay, this might be real. Eh, I'm not sure about this one. Okay, but this is ridiculous. This is definitely not real. This is not real. 3,000 so, books a year, seriously. 3,000 books a year. You That's can, you can 400 run. 400 pages. That's yeah, about 1.2 million I, I, pages. I run as fast as Michael Vick, you know, at, at, at 40, what, 50 <laughs> years old. Michael Vick can't do that anymore, okay? You know, I mean, listen, like, <laughs> if you did the same thing. Did what? If, if you and I sat down yeah, and exactly. you started going, comedian after comedian. Yes. You know what I mean? like We'll get 100 million Dave, views. Dave Chappelle dresses up like a woman. <laughs> and I've seen him. Mm -hmm. And you, you know, and, 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 you know, SOBs, and, you know, in New York on this date. And he saw me and he was dressed with a blonde wig. And no one thought that saw except for me. <laughs> and I know for a fact because he was wearing blue Jordans. <laughs> And you go into detail about this. This will go crazy. And then, and then Chappelle responds to you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fifty million. Yeah, I saw with an open toe Nike. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And just go piece by piece and talk about every comedian who's big out there. Oh yeah, and Cat Williams, and you know, you start making up a whole thing Google about him. Or do that. That's yeah, you know I mean, it's, it, it's easy to do, um, especially if a lot of it's not true. And if, and literally every person he talked about responded, from Kevin Hart. To Steve Harvey. What to, Steve to, said, I don't remember. I think Steve tried to keep it kind of classy. Everybody kept you know, it classy. You know, Cedric responded. Uh, Ludacris responded. Uh, you know, it, it went on and on. You know, um, you know, Gary Owen chimed in. You know, he didn't diss him, but he's like, oh yeah, some of that stuff is true. So you got the fan bases of all these big people with huge fan base themselves and all their fan base are going like, oh, what, what's he talking about? Let me go check it out. But you know, we know one thing I noticed, I noticed that fans online and the fans in real life, two different people. Oh yeah, two, totally different. Two different, and I didn't realize that. It's not even similar. It's not similar. These, those people online are the ones that don't go out to a show. They don't yeah. pay to see nothing. They just stay online, they've never seen that. They are just online, just ready to attack whoever is not their favorite, whoever they agrees with, they're gonna tag the right. other person. That's what I noticed. I'm like, these people, because I go, I go perform, I'm like, damn, you guys are not the same people online. Well, sometimes they are the same people, but they just act very differently online than they do in person. You would think that everybody hates Vlad, that I'm the most hated person in hip hop media. Right. But every time I walk out my house, People are stopping me to take pictures and telling me how much they love my interviews. Oh, see, yeah. every time. Yeah, I'm telling you, two different people. Every time you would think that everywhere I'm going outside, people are throwing tomatoes at me or whatever. No, every time I walk outside, people come. And if I go to a smaller town like a New Orleans, it's crazy. I, I can't walk three steps without people stopping me and pulling over their cars and everything, whatever else. But you would think that I'm just hated. I'm the most hated person, but that's just not reality. Yeah. And some of those same people that probably talk shit about me online when they see me. The same when want to take a picture. They want to take a picture with me. Oh, it happens all the time. I realize that. I'm like, you, are you, on, are you online or you not online? Because you, yeah. Well, plus a lot of the people who are talking shit about, about you online are doing it behind fake pages. There's a picture of a cat or, you know, a, a turtle or something. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Whereas the thing is, it's hard for people like me and you to relate because when we say something online, it comes directly back to us. Yeah. We then have to answer for it. Right. We then have an interview. With, oh, what was that comment you tweeted about three years ago? Like, you got to answer for it. Right. Everything I say, I have to think about. Yeah. I can't go and call a random celebrity a bitch yeah. and think that nothing's going to happen after that. Right. There's repercussions of some sort, some big, some small. So, but if I... A total, like if I had a burner account, I could say whatever I want to. <laughs> Some burner account. To whatever, but I just feel it's such a waste of time. Yeah. Like, what's the point of having a fake account to talk shit to a bunch of people who are not going to respond to me? What's What's the point of that? I, I just don't get it. It seems like a, like a total waste of time. But but I think overall, you know, he brought attention to comedy. Yeah. You know, good or bad is attention. People are googling up comedians more. You know, and 
they got our eyes on us. And I think we are going to sell more tickets because of that, because people want to see what you're going to say about this guy. Yeah. You know, and under that, it's good. But, you know, you, you could have still done it in a great way without, you know, the insults and the lies, a lot of lies. Well, I mean. But lies sells, I guess. Lies, lies sell, man. <laughs> and if, if no one's suing him over this shit, yeah. then he just made out. He just sold a whole bunch more tickets. He sold a lot of tickets. You know, Shannon Sharp got a great look yeah, in the process. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's funny how Shannon does kind of what I do, but I get the people who criticize me aren't criticizing Shannon for the same well, thing. Well, no, nah, he he, they're getting him. They're getting the at him? A few times, you know. You know, I mean, Mike went in on him. In fact, when he, uh, in fact, that's when, um, and Shannon re responded to me because I mentioned, I said, the only one in this interview was was Shannon because he made millions, of, he made a lot of money from those 50 million views. And I think Shannon. It's not, it's not millions of dollars. It's not. Hundreds, I know YouTube. It's, okay. it's hundreds of thousands. It's hundreds of thousands. But okay. not, definitely not millions. Definitely not a million. A absolutely not. Okay. So you make at least 100 grand, you said? 90 something thousand, maybe? I, I would say because the interview is long and you could put in multiple ads, oh, okay. I would say maybe half a million. Half a million dollars total. Okay. See, that's a lot. It's pretty decent. It's, it's, a, it's a great amount. I and mean, you have, know, you, have you ever made that much on an interview? On one interview? Well, I've never gotten $50 million on one interview. 50 million views, you mean? Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, I've never gotten 50 million views on one interview, but we 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 do push 50 million views on our channel. Oh, okay. Most months. Oh, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? So so I I understand, but our stuff is cut up a little bit differently. Gotcha. Uh, so I I could, like I said, I could eyeball it and see. You know, maybe there's some money off the Spotify, and, and you know what I'm saying. So he did pretty well with it, depending on who who else owns, you know, has their hands and yeah. the, the ownership okay. of that stuff yeah. like that. But ultimately, Cat was the one who's really going to gain from this. Well, yeah, because he he's actually selling tickets. Yeah, he is, and putting asses in the seats. Yeah, right. and expensive ticket. I heard tickets was high as three hundred dollars at some place. Yeah, and it, if he's selling merch at all at, at these shows, I don't know if he is or not, but yeah. I mean, like I said, it was it, you know it was brilliant of him to do what he did. Just keep same, have the same energy, and go make some more money. Just you don't have to tear your fellow brothers down. That's all I'm saying. You know, I mean, well, we all work very hard, you know, to get where we are today. You know, so you don't go saying this guy can't read, this guy here, this uh, you know, yeah, that's not cool. Yeah, that that was that was kind of foul. I mean, like, earthquake was in the military. You can't. Be in the military and not read. Okay. In fact, hold on, hold on. Now that I think about it, in fact, he was in charge of nuclear missiles at the military. You know about this whole this whole thing? No, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. He had a whole thing where, like, I think he ended up, like, leaving his post to see, like, a Luke and two live crew show. And then something happened where someone dropped one of the nuclear missiles and, like, the president got a call. And it was just, like, a whole big disaster like that. Nah, happened. this happened where, like, in the Middle East somewhere? Uh, I'm not sure. But he was like he spent a long time in the military before he started doing comedy because you know he's he's older, he's an older guy. So yeah, I can't even imagine yeah, him I, not damn, reading. I think he just had his like sixtieth earthquake. Yeah, I think he. Ate. I think he just had his sixtieth. His big birthday the Hold other day. On a second, not he's sixty old, years old on May May twenty ninth. Yeah, happy belated birthday, earthquake. Yeah, need to come back to and do another Vlad TV interview. It's been been a couple shout of years. Out, shout out to earthquake, man. I know you could read a bit about it. <laughs> And he's a beast. Like on that stage, earthquake. He's in that. Did I put him in a top ten? No. Damn it. Yeah. yeah. See, he deserves to be. It's, it's too hard though, in, with comedians to do a, a top ten. Yeah, you're I, right because you start thinking about all these guys, especially like me and you that personally know them, that that may not be, you know, like for example, you talk to like an Aries and he'll put Patrice O'Neill in his it's top ten, like top ten of Mount Olympus, like over. You mm -hmm. know, everyone. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, there, there's certain guys, they may not be as famous, but on stage, they'll they'll tear up anybody. That's exactly. So you know? many. Like, yeah. you know, like the Corey Hoklum, D-Ray got a good show. TK Kirkland. Yeah, D-Ray tears oh, it Oh, you was talking about, you were talking about TK, you forgot your TK story. TK Kirkland, saw me, my man, so you were just talking about that, you forgot to finish up that story. Uh, which part of the story? Like we always oh, making, it, um, I was with my agent. Oh yeah, yeah, well, well, no, but you basically said. You, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, you said that everyone knows how much everyone made. So right. you, you kind of finished it up. Okay, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. We all know what everybody makes. So when he said the amount of money he made, I laughed because it, I'm like, it's no way. 
TK makes this money. So you thought he was making it up? I mean, but you know, everything's all about hype, man. You gotta, if, you know, if you want somebody to pay you a certain amount of money, you gotta say it. And they just up to that person to give it to you, you know. But we know, you know, what people, at least the range of what people makes, what everybody makes. And I know what, I know, I mean, I might not know what Kev is making, you know, but I got an idea on what Kev makes. I How much do you think Kev makes for a show? I mean, at least half a million dollars. Half a million. How much do you think Chappelle makes for a show? Probably not the same as Kev. About half a million? Mm. Yeah, because their shows are grossing a million dollars. Their shows are grossing a million dollars. You know, they're, they're doing 10,000, if not more. Like, they're talking about, you know, basketball arenas. That's like 15,000 seats. Mm. So if them guys not getting half a million dollars, they got at least get half a million dollars, minimum. Yeah, I mean, Chappelle show, I mean, he's the king right now. And I know you mean the same with Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan doing those those type venues. Oh yeah? Yeah, I got, well, I, I saw Joe together with Dave in, um, was it Phoenix or uh, Vegas? One of them, you know, and um. In with that, I'm sure they probably both made half a million each. You know, we're talking about 19,000, 15,000 seater tickets, average tickets, 100 bucks. That's $1.5 million. You yeah. No way, you know. Right. Plus, they're making all the money off the food, the concessions. Well, no, nah, they, they probably ain't getting much well, of that. Well, no, I'm saying, but the venue itself. The venue is making The venue money. itself yeah. is making So the ticket a lot sales, more money. ticket yeah. sales are really for the, for the artists. Ticket uh, sales are for us. Yeah. You know, uh, Man, it's great, man. I love to see people I know make this type of money. And that's what I'm saying, man. We got like we are making crazy money. We're making really good money. Income that you money we're making a weekend is what people makes that like, you know, yeah. like a year. Yeah. So easy. we have no reason. More than a year. More than a year. More we than don't have... a year. Most most Americans are not making a hundred thousand uh, a year. They're not. Right. So we have no reason to tear each other down. We are blessed. You know, I mean not every every comedian is not making that. You know, that, you know, we opening the doors for those guys to see the potential. Because at the end of the day, man, people want the lab. That's why we are winning, because people want to feel good. They come out to see us to get over their problems, you know, help them heal their problems. We are doctors without the degrees.